Hello everyone, this is Fanny. You are watching Fanny Chess Info. Today I am going to talk about hijab study. Hijab study is to carefully review a process or operation in a systematic manner to determine whether the deviations from the de design or operational intent can lead to undesirable consequences. This technique can be used for continuous or batch processes and can be adopted to evaluate written procedures. The HAZOP team lists potential causes and consequences of the deviations as well as existing safeguards protecting against the deviations. When the team determines that inadequate safeguards exist for a credible deviation, it is usually recommends the actions to be taken to reduce the risk. Objective of carrying out a HAZOP study The objective of carrying out a HAZOP study is to check a design, to decide whether and where to be built, to decide whether to buy a piece of equipment, to obtain a list of questions to put to a supplier, to check running instructions to improve safety of existing facilities. Next one HAZOP team. The HAZOP team includes a safety leader. This person leads the study and should have experience with HAZOP studies already. Recorder. This person documents everything about the study includes causes, consequences, actions, deviations and more. Design consultant or project manager. This person provides the details about the intent of designs. Production manager or chemical engineer. This person will operate the process. Specialist. This person provides specialized technological knowledge about the process. Maintenance manager, electrical engineer, instrument engineer. And these persons offer information and details about maintenance of the equipment or other machinery. The HAZOP study process. The hazard and operability study systematically investigates each element in a process. The goal is to find potential situations what would cause that element to pose a hazard or limit the operability of the process as a whole. There are four basic steps to this process. First one definition, second one preparation, third one examination and fourth one documentation and follow up. First one the definition phase typically begins with preliminary identification of risk assessment team members to perform hijab. A team of workers is formed including the people with a variety of expertise such as operation, maintenance, instrumentation, engineering or process design and other specialists as needed. Second one, the preparation phase typically includes the following activities. The HAZOP team will then create a plan for complete the work process, identifying the individual steps or elements. HAZOP requires a review of all available process safety information as well as identification of any missing process safety information necessary for an effective hazard analysis. This includes hazardous material properties including combustibility, flammability, explosivity, reactivity, self-heating, toxicity, electrostatic properties, etc. The process description, process flow sheets, operating procedures, piping and instrumentation drawings, equipment design specifications, pressure relief system specifications, site and industry data concerning process component failure frequencies and probabilities of failure and demand. Next one examination. Before going to talk about examination, let us see the guide words. Let us know about guide words. These are the simple words which are used to qualify or quantify the intention in order to guide and stimulate the brainstorming process and so discover deviations. The guide was shown in this table. No means none of the design intent is achieved. More quanti quantitative increase in parameter, less quantitative decrease in parameters as well as an addition activity occurs. Part of which means only some of the design intention is achieved. Reverse which means logical opposite of the design intention occurs other than which means complete substitution another activity takes place or 
unusual activity occurs or uncommon condition exists. Other useful guide words include where else application for flows, transfers, sources and destinations, before or after the step is affected out sequence, early or late, the timing is different from the intention. This examination phase includes the following steps. Divide the steps into parts, select a part and define design intent, identify deviations by using guide words as I discussed above on each element, identify consequences and causes, identify whether significant problems exist, identify protection, detection and indicating mechanisms, identify possible remedial or mitigating measures, agree actions, repeat for each element and then each part and last step documentation and follow up phase this includes rec record the examination sign of documentation produce a report of study follow up those actions are implemented restudy any part of system if necessary and produce final output report next one has a analysis sheet let us see has a analysis sheet with an example this is a model hedge of sheet which contains sections assign each entry a unique tracking number guide word insert a deviation guide word used element describe what the guide word patterns deviation describe the deviation possible causes describe how the deviation may occur consequence disk what may happen if deviation occurs safeguards list the controls Comments capture any key relevant rationable assumptions. Action required identify any hazard mitigation or control actions required. And actions assigned to record who is responsible for the actions. Here we take the example from cleaning agent deviation. The first one the guide word no element cleaning agent. Deviation no detergent added during cleaning cycle. Possible causes detergent supplied reservoir empty. Consequences residues not effectively removed, leaving system in unclean state. Safeguards technicians check detergent reservoirs before every cycle. Comments assumes technicians can reliably estimate volume visually. Action required considered alarm for low detergent reservoir level and action assigned to engineer. Like this, we have to use this HAZOP analysis sheet and next one HAZOP report. And finally, the HAZOP report. This report may include different sections, which includes aim. The reporter should provide sufficient information on each element. Title page. The study title should be displayed both on the cover on a separate title sheet. Table of contents. A table of contents should be included at the beginning of the report. Glossary and abbreviations. A glossary of any special terms or titles. And list of abbreviations should be included to ensure that the report can be readily and clearly understood. Summary of the main findings and recommendations. This summary should be briefly outlined on nature of the proposal or existing facility on the scope of the report. Scope of the report. This section should give brief description of the aims and purpose of the study and the reasons for its preparation. Next one, description of the facility. This section gives the overview of site, plant and materials used or stored. Heads of team members. This section should list the HAZOP participants together with their affiliations and positions. Guide words. The guide words used to identify possible deviations in the HAZOP should be listed. Plant overview. This section should outline the general conditions and situations likely to result in a potential hazardous outcome or noise. Next one, analysis of main findings. An indication of criteria used to determine whether or not action was chosen to be taken regarding the outcome of deviation is required. Actions arising from the hazard. This section should highlight those actions which are potentially hazardous to the personnel, the public or environment 
or have potential to jeopardize the operability of the plant. This is all about the hajab study. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.